Hi, I'm Daniel Burstein, Director of Editorial Content at Marketing Sherpa. We are gearing up for Marketing Sherpa Summit 2016 at the Bellagio in Las Vegas this February. And we're going to be highlighting some of our award winners, like our best in show, Karen Thomas Smith of Optum. But the interesting thing is, we've been doing the Marketing Sherpa Awards for more than 10 years now, and uh, recently ran into a winner from the late 2000s, Mark Michaud. Senior Vice President of Strategy for Ariad Communications. And uh, it's, been, it's interesting, it was so long ago that you won, you kind of vaguely remember the date. It, it was the late 2000s, but maybe if you remember, why did you initially uh, apply for the Marketing Sherpa Awards? Well, in those days, uh, email was relatively new for us, as it was for most marketers. And uh, we were really looking to benchmark what we did in email, uh, hopefully win some awards, build some credibility with our clients. And in those days, the Marketing Sherpa Email Summit and the Marketing Sherpa Email Awards were really one of the marquee uh, events and awards that uh, you could win. And uh, we won a few in those early years. Congratulations. And, uh, thank you. And. Uh, um, so we wanted to uh, we wanted to learn, but also get some recognition for some of the early work we were doing in email. Yeah, and you were saying it was one of the few that was results based, which is good to hear because results are still a big focus of the marketing Sherpa Awards. So why was the results focus important to you? Well, I think you know everyone was trying to figure out what does success look like in email, right? It was a growing channel; it was really taking off. Um, but I think a lot of marketers were applying kind of old world. Uh, measurements to email. You know, did it look beautiful? What did the photos look like? Um, and uh, I think we were really all as marketers learning that uh, because email was measurable, that it was really going to be performance that was going to matter. That if, if our clients and marketers in general were going to use email well, it was because it worked and we could measure that it worked. And sorry, so what was your experience when you're going to a marketing Sherpa summit? Was there a camaraderie with fellow performance driven marketers that had that same kind of viewpoint? Yeah, I think you know in those early days it was a little bit exciting because we were all a little bit pioneers in a new channel. So that's uh, uh, that's kind of exciting. I think uh, the conference has always attracted some of the best in class. So uh, even though the first year I went, I went as an award winner, uh, there were some brands doing just some really sophisticated stuff compared to what we were doing. So that was inspirational just to see what was possible. There was you know, some live optimizations happening during the conference, which was great because we learned from that as well. So I think there was a, a little bit of the camaraderie of the pioneers. Uh, there was learning from the best in the trade, which I, th I think was uh, true as well. And I think there was um, uh, just a great chance both as a presenter, but also as an attendee, to ask each other questions, to you know, see case studies that were, were like yours, uh, see people who were concerned about lists or deliverability or content, uh, and have really great conversations. Well, awesome. Well, thank you, Mark. I mean, we are deep in the throes of building Marketing Sherpa Summit 2016 now. Hopefully, we can replicate some of those elements from the early days while we're trying to grow it to beyond email to hit all channels and to help all performance-driven marketers, whether it's social or you know whatever. So. Thank you very much. I look forward to it. And if you're interested in attending Marketing Sherpa Summit at the Bellagio in Las Vegas this February, you can visit marketingsherpa.com 16 to learn about the case studies we'll be sharing this year.